Bruce Shane, and today in Homemade Science, I want to take a look at some slope moving weights that we can put into ropes and chains and ribbons. Now, I've made quite a few versions of this, and it's an easy demonstration, one that you can try for yourself. So, let's take a closer look. To make weights and rope, it's as simple as flicking it up and down or side to side. We could also use a slinky. Now what we're looking at is a transverse wave. The material is going to stay stationary. The particles of the material move up and down as the wave moves forward through it. That is a transverse wave. So, ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, no. Begin. Bring it back. Bring it back. Go ahead, right, shut it. Ready? Yeah. Really fast? Yeah. <laughs> when I pull on this rope, we can actually see the weights traveling down through it fairly quickly. Now what we want to do is put this rope in motion. The rope is going to go in this direction, we're going to move the particles of the rope to form a wave moving this way, but it's going to go against the movement of that rope. So that's going to cause this wave to slow down. Now we're going to look at it on a vertical rather than a horizontal. The rope's coming up, so if I pull on it, see the wave moving much slower. On this side, it's going down, so if I pull out, the wave's going down with it so fast that it appears rigid. So if I want a, a wave on this side, I start at the bottom, and the wave goes up. Now this can be an easy piece to build and this is about as simple as it gets. I have a motor that's glued to a battery and the spool is simply a toy car tire with two pieces of cardboard glued to either side. <laughs> now this one's very simple but it works really well. Here are two more versions and some extra loops and I'll show you how to build this one in the next video. Now this version I can run on 110 volts. This spool can accommodate wider ribbons and the motor is mounted on this wooden handle so I can either hold it or mount it on another surface. Now it's interesting holding it in your hand and then turning it back and forth. And I really like the bigger ribbon, so let's try a longer one. Here's a really large spindle, and for this one I use my chain. Now the nice thing about this piece is, I can control the speed of that motor. So if it's stationary, the weight's going to move at a certain speed. And if I put it in motion, this side the wave has slowed down a little bit. On this side it's speeding up.
So the faster I have this side moving, the slower the wave is going to travel through it. It's kind of like if I throw a stone into a pond, the waves are going to move out in all directions at the same speed. But imagine I throw a stone into moving water. The waves going with the current are going to move at a much faster speed than the waves going against the current. My motor is this drill that was broken in half, and I can control the speed remotely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and go on to part two and I'll show you how to build one for yourself. Okay, bye.